I'm going to stick with just with the hardware options that GKE provides in order to run inference workloads, LLM inference workloads on GKE. GKE, it does integrate with plenty of, of, of options. You have TPUs, you have GPUs available. You can use a spot, G, spot GPUs, okay? So things that you can as well uh, share the, improve the GPU utilization by using the time sharing options, partitioning the GPU in different, as the one single GPU in several uh, GPUs in order to maximize the, the throughput of your LLM workloads applications. You can as well use the NVIDIA MPS framework. You can have this, all this is done by default. Yeah, GK provides the GPU drivers for you. It does as well provides how to operate this frame, this, this, how to operate these nodes. You can use spot nodes. You can use node pools. You can as well in autopilot and in standard modes. Uh, you can tighter integration with many of, with Vertex AI. So the thing is that in the future, you can start using Vertex AI because it's easier for you. And later you can migrate to the key using the same frameworks that you're using when developing your, your applications based on LLM. And you can go as well, it integrates with many of the of the frameworks that are out there, which are used to to serve these 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 models. Okay, so you can use ArrayServe, VLLM, NVIDIA Teton's inference servers, and many others. So the thing is that many other popular frameworks. So the thing is that JK provides already a bunch of solutions on the documentation you can use as a reference to build your own solutions based on on NLMs. And the thing is as well, you can you can start by applying these 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 recommendations and these these recipes that are on the documentation, I will I will put the, the link as well in the in the chat. And the thing is that yes, JK is is already working on towards the integrating more of these solutions and be more 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 easy to adopt. For example, it offers a reserve operator. Is reserve is one of the frameworks that you can use in order to serve your LLM. So the thing is that right now it it is an add-on that you can just configure. Okay, I want this add-on and it will create this ray operator. It will deploy the ray the ray operator on your cluster without you having to configure it. And the thing is that yes, it works towards the yeah, making the JK invisible to the developer as much as possible. So the thing is that you are not using a managed solution, but JK is working towards integrating many of these solutions and offering it under their umbrella. So it's easier for every developer to adopt uh, JKE for this kind of, of workloads.